Hello, welcome back to our Sonic Frontiers playthrough. We're working on getting that yellow Chaos Emerald. It says we need two more keys. So, something's been bugging me about these ruins. The whole reason we came was because Tails detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here, right? And now I'm finding digital keys and confinement towers that seem custom made to hold the Emeralds. Like half this stuff was built with them in mind. Maybe the ancients used the Chaos Emeralds in the past. We've learned of other past civilizations who did too. Yeah, but those groups tried to use them. And the stuff here seems all about containment. Maybe they knew something about their power that we don't. The Chaos Emeralds are still pretty mysterious, even after all we've done with them. Alright, I went and collected a couple keys, replaying the levels we've played before. And we're going to collect our fourth Chaos Emerald. Not bad, so we need to unlock another Amy Memory token. Also need to collect some more keys from the vaults to unlock another Chaos Emerald. I'm going to try to get one more in this episode. As always, we'll have to do a, probably a couple cutscenes. There seems to be a lot of them with these memory tokens in this game. Okay, so we've unlocked a new level. I'm excited to see what this one's going to be like. Some of them have been pretty cool in this game. Some are 2D, some are 3D. I imagine they're probably going to get tougher towards the end of this game. So many button combinations for training in this game. Okay, so it looks like we found like the 2D version of Green Hill Zone. Should be pretty nostalgic playing through this. Problem I found with these 2D Sonic levels so far. I keep trying to use the 2D controls from the old Sonic games. Like I'll be pressing down and B to try and gain speed instead of using the uh, new trigger for the rush mode. I wonder if anyone else when the game suddenly switches to 2D starts trying to use the old Sonic control. Oh no. Yeah, those swinging platforms are uh, not my strong point in this game, I guess. They didn't used to bother me quite so much in the old 2D Sonic games, but seem to have trouble landing on them while they're moving in this game. It's cool, the old loop-de-loops. Yeah, I can never seem to land on those. Alright, at least we made it into a higher path. Okay, 
I think they should have brought back the original Green Hill Zone music for this level. Or even the Emerald Hill Zone from the second game. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Now I want you to go fast to get S rank, but then you're not likely to get all the other stuff like the red coins or finish the level with enough rings. It's almost better to go slow sometimes through these levels. Of course that's not what Sonic's all about, but the reward with the keys kind of encourage that sometimes. All right, we got all the red coins. All right, we got like three keys from that one level. That's gonna be helpful. Working our way towards that next Chaos Emerald, number five. Hoping we can do it in this video today. It's crazy that we're only four videos in and we're on our way to our fifth Chaos Emerald. Then again, I have been editing out a lot of just the wandering the overworld and exploring a bit. Just because kind of makes for boring content. The game's been pretty good so far. Definitely put it up there as a, a good 3D Sonic game and the first open world Sonic game. Although the world so far what's open to us is still pretty small. seen a lot of farming going on. Maybe if you use that new technique of yours, you can clean up all this wild brush. All right, we got a new mini game. Seems like we got to clean up some flowers by using our Psy loop. We need to get 7,000 points before the timer runs out. I don't know if that's a lot or not. Just have to avoid those things flying around. We instantly hit one. Trying to at least get some big chunks all at once. Okay, we're almost halfway through this. Seven thousand's a lot of points to get in that amount of time, though. It's gonna be very tight. Okay, two thousand to go.
Oh, and one second to go, we did it. That was so close. Oh, we got a fifth Chaos Emerald already. So I guess we're working on number six now. So all this used to be farmland, huh? Yes, they make it sound like it was abundant, but now... I mean, it's grassy. Yup, but I've seen this kind of recovery in areas Dr. Eggman damaged. Something ruined this land, and it's barely begun to recover. Then we need to make sure it has plenty of time to heal. Right. Okay, so those little characters used to farm, and somehow it became a barren wasteland of robots? Interesting that something weird happened here. Okay, what's going on now? Once every few nights, meteors fall like rain. When this happens, enemies in the open field will be resurrected. Okay, so it's kind of like the Blood Moon from Breath of the Wild, where all the enemies come back. Except collecting the Star Fragments gives us rewards of these purple coins. Really haven't looked into what we're supposed to be doing with all these purple coins yet. We're going to keep collecting them until we figure it out, but find out there's some sort of upgrade or something I haven't been doing and have to do it all at once. So I guess the goal when this happens is just to collect as many of these as fast as possible. Cool concept at least. Makes you a little less annoyed by all the enemies respawning. remember them when they introduced this concept with Breath of the Wild. At least that was the first time I saw it. People were all over the place showing videos of uh, them about to defeat a huge powerful boss and then the uh, Blood Moon happening and the boss just having full HP all over again. Completely restored. I wonder if that can happen with some of the big bosses in this game. Like, maybe if it's about to be one of these meteor showers, you don't want to take on a big boss. Okay, we've gained a lot of these purple coins. We're going to have to figure out what they're for. Doesn't seem like the color of these meteor fragments seems to matter, though. Unless one of them counts as like two instead of one, but... We're grabbing them all so quick it's hard to tell which is which. Okay, I guess that was it for that. So all our enemies have respawned. Which is okay, fighting them in the overworld gets us extra of those hearts to help us uh, unlock more of the cutscenes and story mode. So having them back may not be the worst thing. We collect enough rings, like we get our max amount of rings, we get like powered up as Sonic. Just like that. This should be different. Cutscene with the enemy for once. Don't you think that Titan was kind of overkill? You are an enemy to be eliminated, and you are powerless compared to its might. 
maybe as I am, but I'm willing to bet I can handle it as supersonic. All I need are the Chaos Emeralds. Doubtful. In any scenario, the end results will not change. Additionally, what you seek is in its presence. You've lost the battle before it has even begun. So I guess it must have the last emerald that we're looking for. But we've collected enough keys now to, uh, I think unlock the next emerald up on the tower. So we're going to head up there and go get it. Yeah, it's on top of that pyramid, so we're gonna go climb up there to collect Keep tabs it. on the hedgehog. I want constant updates. Yes, sir. And keep looking for a way to get me out of here! I am evaluating all safe options. Give up the good work, Sage. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, that's new information. So she's working with Dr. Robotnik. Trying to get him out of cyberspace. And she's using Titans to try and stop us. Now this pyramid that's floating in the air holds the uh, emerald we're on our way to collect. Getting up here is tough. Yeah, I've come up here before just to see what was up here, so... I know it's what we're looking for. They just made a lot of steps to get up there. Okay, we're almost at the top now. It's a pretty exciting overworld, as small as it's been so far. Alright, that's going to be Emerald number 6 for us. So we only really have a couple left, and one of them the Titan has. Which means we're on our way to that boss fight very soon. But what about finding me a way out of this digital dimension? I have run 1,700,050 simulations. There is no scenario to safely remove you from cyberspace. Unacceptable. Keep looking. Make it your number one priority. But keeping you safe is my priority. Alright, well that's going to do it for today's video. So thanks for watching and come see our next Sonic Frontiers video. Bye for now.